Today is uh, kind of the unofficial start to summer as temperatures rise. So will the number of people hitting the waterways. Yeah, and WDSU reporter Kelsey Davis has a few things you should keep in mind before you take that boat out this summer. On any given day, Department of Wildlife and Fisheries agents are out doing boat safety checks on waterways statewide. But when Memorial Day hits, the number of checks spikes. Although we have wonderful fishing and boating opportunities year round uh, in this area, a lot of people generally start or get uh, much more frequent with their boating activity in the late spring and early summer. Sergeant Tim Fox says the checks are pretty simple. They're just making sure that boaters are in compliance with the state's safety requirements. Making sure that they have um, wearable life jackets for all persons on board, making sure that they have fire extinguishers and uh, different items that in the event of a boating emergency would help them survive or reduce the risk of injury. When it comes to life jackets, Fox wants to remind people that you have to have a life jacket or personal flotation device on board for each of your passengers. On boats that are less than 26 feet long, people 17 years and younger have to have the proper sized life jacket on when the boat is away from the dock. But based on the accidents he's seen in his career, Fox says it's not a bad idea to have everyone wear a life vest just in case. If anything was to go wrong, if someone could be uh, someone could be the greatest swimmer in the world, but if they hit their head going out the boats or something happens to them, they, they succumb to fatigue or something like that, and they don't have a life jacket on, it doesn't matter how good of a swimmer they are. And on a busy weekend like Memorial Day, Fox says they'll be on the lookout for people who are behind the wheel while under the influence. Operating a boat is already uh, tougher in, in some instances than driving a car because of the fact that you're on the water and there's uh, several different factors that make it uh, a more stressful, physically stressful um, activity. If they end up uh, actually being intoxicated, it makes for a much more dangerous scenario on the waters. We mentioned some of the things you have to have aboard your vessel before you get on waterways statewide. Here's that complete checklist. It's on our website, WDSU.com right now. That's where you can also find other information from the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries before you hit waterways this summer. Reporting on Lake Pontchartrain, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News.